Hey everybody, welcome back. <laughs> Today I'm going to be answering one of the most common questions I get in all my videos, and that is, can you use an electric tool of some kind, like an electric brush or something like that, to perform a mirror shine? I think a lot of people ask this question because they know how hard mirror shines are and how long they take, and they want to know if it can be done quicker, faster, easier. And at first I thought, that's not possible, it's ridiculous, but Last week, I visited the Allen Edmonds Home Factory in Port Washington, Wisconsin for their 100 year anniversary party. That video is coming soon. And I met uh, one of the workers who worked in the finishing department. His name is Mike, and he's a fan of the channel. So Mike, if you're watching, here's a shout out to you. And Mike was doing these really amazing shines with those industrial spinning shiners. I don't know what they're called, <laughs> but that's what they look like. Uh, he was doing some pretty impressive shining. So he put down some some wax and he would shine them and it buffs so quickly that it was really laying the foundation for the mirror shine. I thought maybe it is possible to perform a very quick mirror shine or at least make the job easier for me. So I'm gonna look into that today. Now these are a pair of Alfred Sargent's. Uh, for those who don't know, unfortunately, even though Alfred Sargent's been around since the very late 1800s, um, they've gone out of business. They haven't updated their Instagram in, in a couple of years and there are some articles floating around that they're gone. Uh, which is really unfortunate if that's true. Uh, I haven't been able to find a definitive answer, but it looks like they have gone out of business. So I'm going to be shining up these beautiful pair of Oxfords, and we're going to experiment. So I really don't know what's going to happen. I'm pretty nervous. I, uh, if I can find a way to do a mirror shine faster, uh, it'll be pretty cool. I do suspect, though, that no matter what, it's going to be really difficult to achieve anyway. So I have some tools here today that I bought and that I have already on hand, and we're going to look into it. So let's get this video started. You know, I should probably <laughs> remove this first. And uh, this shoe's okay. This is actually the shoe in question. As you can see, there's some fading here. Looks like a dry spot. A little, I don't know if you can see it there, a little nick. Let's see if we can get some light on it. A little nick right there. It shouldn't be a big issue though. Now this is where MDO really shines. Shameless plug if you want some. I have it at the eleganoxford.com and I left a 5% discount code for you in the description of this video. So just grab a little bit, really high pigmented cream. And you're just going to add it right in. Okay, easy. And instantly the problem is solved. MDO just has a lot of pigment, more than any cream I've ever found. And one layer really brushes beautifully to a nice shine. So, you know, we're just gonna add it to the whole shoe. Now we have to do this step before we get to the wax. Just so it looks really presentable and beautiful. And then there's the scratch right there. Same process, a little bit of MDO. It's gonna just really, really help. I can actually feel the scratch, so. It's a little deeper than I thought it's going to be, but still, it's always good to add cream polish when you get little scratches, nicks, and cuts, and it always helps to make them look a lot better. So you just wait five minutes, and you can use a horsehair brush like this one by Saphir, which I also sell. It's actually really soft, really, really a great brush, and you just brush the shoe. I'm going to be adding navy wax with some layers first. So I'm going to add a lot of layers with a chamois. Usually I use my fingers, but this is slightly different than what I usually do. So just add a couple of good layers and make sure it's all spread out evenly. Then I'm going to use the heat gun and melt those layers right down so it's really into the leather. It's a very fast process, so don't worry. Okay, and you're just gonna do it again, a couple times. Add layers. Now for those wondering why I use navy blue, I have a couple of videos on that as well. I just think it looks, makes the shine look a little bit deeper and it adds a slight tint that looks blacker than black. Old school shiners would use burgundy and green and a bunch of different really cool colors, but I like using navy blue. Time for some more heat. Okay. Bam. 
back and forth. This could be slightly annoying, but we got to do this to make sure that when I try one of the tools, it's not the wax that isn't providing the shine. Got to eliminate that variable. Okay, nice and easy. This is kind of the beginnings of the mirror shine. You're just adding wax back and forth and adding some heat. Okay. Let's just keep on going. And uh, it's not too much. Believe it or not, mirror shines take a lot of layers. A lot more than people think. Once that wax is down on, then I'm going to get the tool, which is a shining attachment to my Dremel, and we'll start there with a tool to attempt a mirror shine. This is hilarious. Well, let's just get a little bit of water here. Drip, 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 and see what it does. Maybe wet this a little bit too. All right, let's give it a shot. Oh. oh, it spit little fibers everywhere. I don't know if you can see it, but there's fibers all over the shoe. And you know what? I mean, it didn't mirror shine, but it looks like it's buffing the wax, actually. So. Let me try some more. This might be too fast, but the shoe is completely covered in lint. Oh, it's kind of weird. Well, let me try to figure this out. Maybe, maybe I have to get the lint off before it works because there's a lot of lint on this thing. Um, you, I might have to go slower. I'm not sure. Whoa! It like instantly liquefies. <laughs> The wax, it's pretty, pretty fast, all right. Get some more water. dropping lint everywhere and it looks like there's some lint getting embedded into the wax a little bit hmm I mean don't get me wrong it's actually heating up the wax and it is shining in certain areas but to do a precise full-on mirror shine I don't know if it's possible with this tool I'm gonna be really honest I mean I do grant that it might be me it might be this tool it might be my own skill my inexperience with it that's that's causing the issue but I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is probably not gonna work for you uh, it might just be easier to learn to mirror shine but the experiment is not over we still have one more tool to use yeah I don't know if you can see it here but there's like little pieces of cotton strings everywhere there are pieces of cotton string all over the place I mean yeah it looks shinier than it than it was, but you can really just get to this level with a brush. Honestly, if you just brush back and forth with a couple of layers of wax, uh, this is just, the lint is too extreme. I know you can't see it because of the reflection, but there are lint particles all over the place. I even tried trying to get the lint off by putting it against the table or something, but it keeps shooting lint no matter what I do. Some of the reviews on Amazon said that that would happen. Let me try another head and give it another shot because I have to, you know, do my due diligence. Okay, I put a new head on. Let's try it on the lowest setting again. I don't know if you can see it on video, but this is shooting off a lot of lint. There's lint all over the place right now. 
It's all over the shoe. Maybe you can't see it. I hope you can. Hmm. Let's get it a little wet. Maybe that'll help with the lint. Okay, it's pretty drenched. Okay, let's get some wax. Put it on right here and give it a little go. Yeah. So, I mean, it does shine a little bit, but then the lint gets totally glopped up with the wax and it looks terrible. So I could potentially see this working, but not very well and not better than a normal brush. I mean, you could just put on five layers and brush, 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 and you'll get a pretty decent shine, not a mirror shine, but you'll get the beginnings of what you need. I don't know if you can just use this to get an actual mirror shine. I'm going to go ahead and say no. All right, here is the second attempt using one of these hotel valets. They were like portable shiners that you hook up to the wall. Then they have a button right up here and it spins. It's really loud and it moves a lot, so I'm gonna have to be really careful, but I'm gonna try one of these out. This one actually belonged to an old mentor of mine who passed away and his wife gave me his, his electric shiner. It's more of a novelty, I'll be honest, but uh, let's give it a try. And if this doesn't work, I have one last method, which I think should do the trick. Um, if that doesn't work, then I don't think there's an actual way. So let's add some water. There's actually more wax on here now. I added another 10 layers. And here we go. I'm going to try to keep it as steady as possible. Oh, let me move the water. There we go. area here we go huh yeah there's actually some type of shine here uh, a mirror shine the beginnings of one at least but there's a lot of lint same problem as last time I tried my best to make sure it was clean but there's like micro lint everywhere. So I think that the third option, I'm gonna have to use like a horsehair brush wheel. Unfortunately, I don't have one of those, but I will go and find one at a cobbler shop and we can do this. I think it might be possible to prepare the shine um, like Mike was doing at Allen Edmonds. So let me keep trying here. Hey everybody, I'm here to see John at Tim's Shoe Repair. I'm here to solve the mystery of the mirror shine to see if it's possible to perform a mirror shine using a power tool. I drove an hour away just to figure it out, so I am dedicated and with gas at almost $7 a gallon. Uh, this better be worth it. So let's get on in there and figure it out. So that right there is the machine I'm gonna be using. And it looks intimidating, but I think I can possibly do this. All right, so I'm gonna use some regular wax first, see if this isn't enough to get a nicer shine. Yeah, that's hot. Coming. Hello. Yeah. All right, so I added Pat Deluxe, which is just normal wax, and we're gonna give it another shot at this mirror shine. So I'm gonna add some water. A little bit, there we go. Now we're gonna try the shot. And you know what? This is, I think this might actually be working. Speed it up a little bit. Yeah, it's actually doing something. That, I'm not gonna lie, it looks better than I thought it was gonna look. So let's add a little bit more wax and continue the process and see if that doesn't produce a mirror shine of some kind. Okay, letting it dry. Okay, adding 
a little squirt of water. There we go. And let's repeat the process. Really gently, just kind of getting shinier. So let's just keep at it and see what we get after a couple more layers. No doubt. All right, we have the third layer and we're gonna keep on going. So we're gonna add a little bit of water again, just like most mirror shines. A little bit, just a tiny bit. We're gonna keep at it again. Really gently, we don't want to get, don't want it to get too hot. We're just gonna go back and forth. It's gonna get to the mirror shine that we want without using a soft cloth. So I'm gonna put one more layer and then we can see if it's getting any shinier. All right, so this is the fourth layer and it is getting shinier, so we're gonna see if we can't get any further than we already are. A little bit more water. There we go. And let's start. You gotta be really gentle this portion right here. You don't want it to get too... So it did get a tiny bit shinier, but I don't know. Yeah, I'm pretty confident we're not gonna be able to get an actual mirror shine, even if we did 10 layers. The spinning brush at this point is getting it really shiny and then it's removing too much wax, even though I'm adding water. So I really don't think it's gonna get any further than this. Although this is probably a good base for a mirror shine. From here, you can start using your fingers and a chamois of water to really get it to where you wanna go. But I don't think it's gonna go any shinier than this. Uh, so yeah, I don't think it's possible to get an actual mirror shine using a power tool. Yeah. I mean, there's no doubt it looks really, really great. And this is definitely a way to shine the shoe, but uh, not a mirror shine. And I, and I don't know if it's possible to get one this way, but I'm going to say, no, it's not. So after that, we just uh, took the long drive home. But before we did, we actually stopped by to get some food. We're big fans of Mediterranean food. So we looked around and found a really good place to eat. I was actually telling my wife how crazy it is that when I first started making videos, our daughter was only three or four months old. And now we have a son who is a year old. And time is just passing by so quickly. I wish I could just stop it all and enjoy it forever. But the truth is... This is all temporary and these amazing moments go by so quickly. My my only piece of advice is to enjoy every moment in the moment and just to, to love every second of it. So, yeah. Now, this is actually footage from my guaranteed mirror shine tutorial that I did, I think, about a year ago. So if you want to check that out, if you're having a lot of trouble, go there. But now that I've had some time to think about it, I don't think it's possible at all to do a mirror shine. Uh, with a power tool of any kind. It just requires too much 
finesse too much meticulous skill to actually do it. Now, I think you could, like I mentioned already, you could lay the foundation for a good mirror shine, but you don't need a tool. You can do that with a brush and four or five layers of wax. Investing in, in a huge, especially the industrial machine cobblers use, which costs thousands of dollars, isn't worth it. If you want to spend 20, 30 bucks, that'd probably be fine, but it's really not necessary. So overall, I don't think there's an easier way. There's no shortcut to an amazing mirror shine. I really don't believe there is. Now, if there's someone who's figured it out, let me know. I'd love to know. Um, but I just think it's not possible to go further than just the basic shine. That looks really amazing and impressive, but it's not a mirror shine to the level that I'm about to show you right now with the final result. And here it is. So as you can see, a, a proper mirror shine requires work and it's a show of your skill and of your ability to stick with something and do it right. So I hope you enjoyed the video. It was a lot of fun to make and I hope you like how these Alfred Sargents turned out. I think they shined up beautifully and uh, there's really nothing like a proper mirror shine. Every time I do it, I just sit back and I think, wow, I can't believe I did that. That looks way better than what I think I can do. So thanks for watching. And as always, visit theelegantoxford.com for all your shoe care needs. Subscribe and like the video if you did. See you next time.